good morning. I just got some Starbucks, need some caffeine. I want to get this hair done. So I got a um, one of the Macro Reese's pumpkin spice iced lattes for myself and then a pumpkin spice latte for my mom. So stay tuned for this hair transformation. We are at the salon. Say hi, mom. Hey. Cheers to our Starbucks. So I'm going to do something crazy that'll probably wash out, but stay tuned. <laughs> All right, here is the in the process look. I have a lot of hair, a lot of thick hair, so this takes a while. Lunch and a drink with mom. As Mark. Wow. Kind of strong. And I got Blonde Fatale by Peace Tree Brewing Company, my favorite. Turkey breast sandwich. This looks amazing. Turkey and avocado wrap. Yep. yep. Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you my breakfast today. So I have in here Chobani plain Greek yogurt mixed with a half of a scoop of my Lean Way Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then I have a half a serving of frozen mixed berries, a half of a serving of the Ma Nature Valley Protein Granola and topped with cinnamon. Super excited for this. I think this is going to be a new go-to for me because there's so much protein in here. There's like 30 grams of protein and not too many carbs. I'll put on the screen how much or what the macros are, but it is going to be so good. Hey guys, so today has been a very productive day. I have been cleaning. I cleaned the whole first level of the house today and set up all the fall decorations, went to the gym. Now I'm going to go meet my friends for girls night. Hey guys, so it is Thursday, September 27th, and I just landed back in Charlotte. It's 7.30 p.m. right now, and I stopped at Starbucks because it's happy hour today. After 3 p.m., I got, it's buy one, get one, so I got a skinny mocha with almond milk, and I subbed one pump of the skinny mocha for one pump of white chocolate because I like white chocolate. And I got one that's half-calf and then one that is full caffeine for tomorrow, so girl needs her coffee. I am heading back to my apartment now. I'm going to eat because I have only ate breakfast and my post-workout meal today. So I am freaking hungry and yeah, gonna unpack and settle in the apartment for tonight. So I will catch you guys later. So I just got back from the gym and grocery store. I went to Harris Teeter and I went to Trader Joe's this time. So I just want to show you my mini grocery haul. I spent $55. So I just got a few of my essential items and things that I've been craving and just having all the time lately. So, these things we just needed. Um, my Carb Master Vanilla Yogurt, or Vanilla Milk. Here's the macros for a reminder. This stuff is absolutely amazing. And then I also found this, this is brand new, huge tubs of this stuff. There are the macros way better than any other yogurt I've ever, ever found. And then lately in my breakfast, I've been having shredded lettuce and then guacamole and fat-free sour cream and salsa, so I got some of that. My butternut squash, which I've been on a kick with lately. And with the yogurt, I like to add berries and um, granola. This is my favorite that I've found and like the best macro-friendly version that I've found so far. Oatmeal, flavored water, we have green beans and asparagus in the can, sugar-free, um, sweet pickles. And then from Trader Joe's, here's what I found. I have not been there for a very long time, and these turkey meatballs I've been craving so bad. There are the macros for two meatballs. I absolutely love these things, and it's perfect for when traveling. I can just easily take these with me. And I also love their cauliflower rice, or riced cauliflower. 
And then I found these. I have not seen her before, so I'm excited to try those. And then some fall hand soap. So I hope a few of those ideas help you out. I'm just pretty simple. Um, I like volume. I like macro-friendly things. So I just wanted to chat with you in this video about a September recap and give you all of my favorite things. So we are going to start with movies. In theaters, I just saw Simple Favor with Blake Lively and it is so, so good. You have to go see it. One, she's one of the most amazing actresses ever. Two, you would never guess what's going to happen and keep happening in the movie. It just keeps you on your toes and it's hilarious, thrilling, like everything all mixed together. So that's a good one. Another movie I saw on Netflix was To All the Boys I've Ever Loved or whatever it's called. And it is so cute. I had it like in my saved list for quite a while and I finally watched it on the flight and it is the cutest movie ever. All right, next up are books. So I read a lot of books and I read them in actual like book form and I read them on my Kindle on my phone. Um, I have a Kindle too, but it's just hard because I carry so much stuff with me traveling. So I just have the Kindle app on my iPhone. So I use that. So I've read two books this month by the same author. The author is Minka Kent and the books I read are The Thinnest Air and The Memory Watcher. So The Thinnest Air is about two sisters who are kind of telling the story back and forth on from their point of view. It's a complete mystery thriller type and a huge plot twist at the end. Um, and then The Memory Watcher, it's about a girl who is watching a family and something crazy happens in between the family, the girl, and all kinds of stuff. So that one's really good as well. I'm almost done. I have like 5% of that book left and the month is almost over. So I'm going to finish it before the month is over. All right. So the month of September for music, I have been obsessed with the song Acoustic and it is by Billy Rafford. Raffle? Billy Raffle, I found him on Spotify and it just gets you in the zone. It's such a good chill song. So make sure you listen to that right now, right after this video. Keep listening to me and then listen to him. <laughs> I watch Netflix a lot. So I just finished watching Life Sentence, which is the cutest series ever. I'm just gonna put that out there. Watch the series, it's so cute. Oh, and the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack is actually on Spotify. So I just downloaded that. Uh, I downloaded the soundtrack and it is so good and then I'm currently watching and I think I'm on the last episode of seven seconds it is about police officers and a killing all kinds of stuff it's really good um, it just kind of like keeps you tuned in and like wanting to know more it's not like the best show ever but it's really good and just like keeps grabbing your attention so that's another good one Macro friendly this month. So I have been absolutely obsessed with Joseph's lavish bread and pita breads. You can just pop them in the microwave and they turn into chips and it's a really good macro friendly treat. You can have two of the pitas for only 120 calories, good amount of volume, good for snacking, good for on the go, whatever you want. Um, you can always make wraps out of it, make pizzas out of it, make sweet chips out of it, whatever you want, the endless, there are endless opportunities. So another one I've been absolutely obsessed with is making Greek yogurt mixed. I use either plain Greek yogurt and mixed protein powder with it, or I will use the Dan and Light and Fit vanilla Greek yogurt. And I have berries, fresh or frozen, and then you can add chocolate sauce, you can add protein powder, like drizzle that on, um, or you can have chocolate chips, whatever you want. I have berries and granola usually, and it is so good and I top it with a little bit of cinnamon. Next macro friendly, I guess, drink. Besides your typical bang, which are amazing, the Mountain Dew Kickstart is so good. I have the zero sugar one and it is fire, guys. If you like Mountain Dew like me, you need to try it because it is really good. So this month for my desserts of September, I have been having Halo Top. I've had a lot of Halo Top. Um, the Cookie dough is one of my favorites. The birthday cake is one of my favorites. I just had the peaches and cream the other day. I've had it in my freezer for about three, four months maybe. And guys, it is so good. You need to try it if you have not tried it yet. The peaches and cream is bomb. I know I had the pumpkin last year. I have not had it yet this year. 
It is very good. I think it's one of my favorites, along with the pancakes and waffles. That's it for you guys. I'm heading back out to the West Coast again. That's another thing for September. I've spent the entire month in the West Coast, all only doing red eyes. So I have another red eye tomorrow. I'm going to San Jose, California, which I have not yet been there, so I'm super excited. But that's a wrap for this vlog, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like, leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in San Jose.